Ciao, welcome back to our lesson on the Italian terms in music, le parole italiane in musica. I hope you enjoyed the first session and today we continue with more words. We stopped last time on diminuendo and let's continue from the letter E. The first word is energico. Energico, it says it alone, it means with energy. Put a lot of energy in that passage. Falsetto. Literally, it means little false. So little false as like, especially it is used for singers, is when you sing in another register, when it's not your natural register. Think of a male singing in a female register with a very high pitched voice. Fantasia, often used to describe um, a passage, but also as a title for a piece. It is a piece, um, a musical composition typified by improvisation. So that used a lot of fantasy, a lot of fantasy in the genesis, in the creation of the work. Felice. Felice is another adjective that means happy. It is not used though as a um, title for a musical composition like Allegro, but it is used to describe the um, mood of the piece. Fermata. Fermata, um, it's uh, in Italian used even today, it's a stop. <laughs> so when the music stops on a chord, and we put the pause on top of that note. And then either you leave it um, empty like that, like the composer wrote it, or you improvise a cadenza. But just remember, fermata means to stop. And obviously, you're not stopping suddenly, but you prepare the stop. Feroce, ferocious, with a lot of energy, a lot of almost browning energy. Festoso. Festa in Italian means a party. So festoso is very festive, like a celebration. You are having a lot of fun and you celebrate that moment in music. Fine. Fine is the end. So when you see written on your score, in general is the end of the piece, often you go um, back to the beginning, da capo, like we saw before, and instead of going to the segno, like I mentioned last time, it says da capo al fine, so it is until you see the word fine written on the piece, on your score. And finale, the next word, it is obviously the last movement that close the composition. Fioritura. Fioritura is, um, has a little word internally, fiori, that means flowers. So, flowery passage, or like um, um, embroidery, you um, add ornamentation to that passage, fioritura. Forza, as it says, force, use a lot of energy, a lot of force in that passage. Fuga, fugue. Literally, in Italian, fuga is when you elope, when you go away and people are following you. So in music, obviously, it is used to describe a composition where voices are chasing each other. Con fuoco. Fuoco means fire. So it's a very fiery energy that the composer wants in that passage. Furioso means furious, angry. Funebre, funereal, 
gloomy with this kind of character. Con garbo. Garbo is when um, someone is garbato in Italian, is someone that has um, good manners, very um, polite, very well mannered. So con garbo, to play with garbo, think about playing with good manners, very attentive and very um, polite. Giocoso, giocare is the word to play in Italian. Not to play music, but to play games, to play sport, to have fun, to really um, play uh, with your friends, for example. So giocoso in music is playful, very playful passage. Gioioso is joyful, with a lot of joy. Glissando. Glissando it's a glide, it's when you move smoothly from one note to the next one. Con grandezza, with grandeur, grand, big, pompous. Grave, grave is often used also as um, title for a movement of a sonata, for example. It is Serious, solemn, grazioso, graceful, with a lot of grace. Gruppetto, in English, is a turn. In Italian, gruppo, it's a group, obviously, of notes. Gruppetto, it's a small group, so three or four little notes together, they create the turn. Con gusto. Gusto in Italian means taste, so very tasteful, with a lot of taste. Incalzando. Incalzare in Italian means to press, to move forward. So incalzando is to press the tempo. Intermezzo. It's an interval, often an um, um, instrumental composition between acts in an opera, for example. Lacrimoso. Lacrimoso means tearful. Lacrima in Italian is a tear, so you play with a, a sad feeling, tearful see, feeling, that passage or that piece. Lamento. Lament. Largo. Now, largo again, it is used for a slow movement, but it doesn't mean slow, literally. It means broad. It means that you are playing broadly. You take your time between the beats. That's why it becomes a slow movement. And larghetto, a little less broad. Legato, like the word itself says, it is tied together. Legato means slur together. You can hear it in the word, legato. There is no gap. Mm -hmm. Why if I say allegro, there are a few little gaps. Mm -hmm. So when you play legato, you mm, keep the sound connecting the notes. Leggero, light. Play with a light feeling. And light obviously opposite of heavy, not the light of the sun. Collegno. Collegno means with the wood. So the opposite of what we were saying before. Con l'arco you play with actually the strings. Collegno you play with the wood. Lento, that's finally the word that means slow. Slow pace between the beats. Liberamente. Liberamente means freely. Libero means free. So, liberamente is the adverb that means freely. Take your time and find your own movement in that passage. Libretto, literally small book. It is the text of an opera. Lieto, it's another word that means happy content, to define the character of the piece, not 
again as allegro, not as a title. Like lieto um, can be found in the middle of a movement and means that passage needs to have a more contained feeling. Lungo, long. If you see it on a note, you have to stretch that note even more. Lusingando, often found underneath the stave, it is the literal meaning is flattering. So you play with that feeling. Maestoso, an adjective that can follow allegro, for example, one more time, it means majestic. Often you see as first movement of a concerto, allegro maestoso. So think royal, think majestic. That's the feeling that you need to um, put in that movement, not only the speed, but also the character um, behind the notes. Maestro, it is the maestro, the conductor. Malinconico means with a lot of melancholy, nostalgic, mournful. Mancando, mancare in Italian means to miss something. So you miss energy slowly and then you get also quiet. Marcato means marked with a lot of heavy feeling on all the notes, pretty much. Even more in the next word, martellato, martello is the hammer in Italian. So you are pretty much hammering every note. Think very vertical and a lot of energy on every note. Minaccioso means menacing. Misterioso, mysterious. Moderato, it is another um, word used to describe a movement of um, a sonata, again. Moderato is moderate. If it is followed, uh, if it follows um, a word like allegro, one more time, it means moderately happy. So it is pretty much between the andante and the allegro. So you are moderately happy, but you go a little bit you walk a little bit faster than the andante. Molto, it means a lot. Like we saw aside before, molto also means a lot. And it is used much more in um, Italian conversation, like a word like bello, if it's really beautiful, you say molto bello. So if it's allegro molto, you are very happy. Morbido means soft. That's the word that means soft. So if you see that written on the music, obviously you think not just about the dynamic, but also how you play every note. Morendo. Morendo is often found um, at the end of a diminuendo, for example, because it means morire in Italian means to die. So you die away and you get you go as quiet as possible until the sound disappears. Mosso means with a lot of movement, internal movement, a little bit like the um, agitato, but probably not as um, uh, agitated as such, but like more movement than previously um, performed. Con moto, it's quite similar. Moto means again with movement. So con moto with movement. So they're quite similar. You can find allegro mosso, for example, or allegro con moto. And they're quite similar in meaning. Obligato. Obligato means required in Italian and it's often found in, um, for example, in Baroque uh, areas where there is um, the voice and a solo instrument 
that has a dialogue with the voice. So it is an obligato instrument, a required instrument, and then the other, the orchestra accompanies both of them. Opera. Opera, you all know what it means today. It is the word that we see on stage with singers, orchestra, um, stage, costumes, makeup, wigs, all that. In Italian, opera means to work. Operare means to work. So all these different arts, poetry, obviously, because the libretto, the text, singing, music, um, stage, acting, um, makeup, wigs, all, all these uh, different um, arts work together to create a whole um, work, opera. Opera, I said before that if it's followed by buffa, it is a comic opera, but opera seria, it is a serious opera, while operetta, it is a lighter version of opera. So, where the themes are not as dramatic as in the opera. A few more words for today, and then we'll stop here. Oratorio, it's another musical composition, composition a sacred musical composition for voices and um, orchestra. Orchestra. That's the Italian stress for the word. It's not orchestra, but orchestra. It is obviously the orchestra. And that's it for today. So I hope you're enjoying all these Italian words and practice them and see you next time for the last part of these lessons. Partire, ritornare, poi tradire, conquistare, poi dire, poi negare, poi giocare, lavorare. Dare, poi amare, si può fare, si può fare, puoi prendere o lasciare, puoi volere, puoi lottare, fermarti e rinunciare, si può fare, si può fare, puoi prendere o lasciare, si può crescere, cambiare, continuare a navigare.